Welcome back. Rasmus Hoyland is rapid, raw, but a worthy gamble for Manchester United. The 20-year-old forward has a lot to learn, but his dazzling form for Atalanta early this year showed his rare potential. Even a footballer who runs the 100-meter in under 11 seconds can be surprised by the pace of his own progress. Rasmus Hoylund began 2022 as a reserve for FC Copenhagen. In the 19 months since, he has completed three transfers with a combined value of more than $87 million and has now landed at Manchester United, a club he supported as a boy. It is, as he put it during a first interview with the club's in-house TV channel, a little bit surrealistic. Do not expect Hoyland to be daunted. A big reason he fell for United in the first place was admiration for Cristiano Ronaldo's Una Bacher d'Ambition. Hoylund recalled an interview in which the Portuguese, early in his first stint at Old Trafford, was asked to name the best player in the world and immediately nominated himself. I like this mentality, said Hoylund. He just put it out there and said he wanted to be the best, and that's the same mentality I go for. I want to be the best version of myself. United are gambling that Hoylund's attitude and athleticism will get him there. For now, they have a raw talent. One with bags of potential, but who has not yet played a full season as a starter in senior football and who arrives with a back injury that caused him to miss the start of his first Premier League campaign. He finally made his debut for United in the 3-1 defeat at Arsenal before the international break, coming on as a 67th-minute substitute and impressed. Again and again, there is only one thing Harry Maguire can do to end his Manchester United ridicule. Harry Maguire was unsurprisingly jeered by Scotland fans, and Gareth Southgate questioned why the player is a scapegoat. Harry Maguire briefly looked down and trudged back to his position for the restart after his own goal against Scotland. Should Maguire have stuck a leg out when Andy Robertson played a cross into the box from the right? No. Does that mistake make him the worst player to have represented England and deserving of abuse? No. The atmosphere at Hampton Park is bound to be hostile when England travel north of the border. But Scotland fans only heckled Maguire, and Gareth Southgate is right to suggest that's a consequence of the narrative around him. So let me tell you about a list of United 25 players submitted. The list submitted by United on Wednesday consists of players over the age of 21. Those born on or after 1st January 2002 don't need to be registered and clubs are permitted to use as many under-21 players as they like during games. Six of United's seven summer signings are present, with permanent additions Mason Mount, Andre Onana, Alte Bayendir, and Johnny Evans, joining Loney's Sofian Amrabat and Sergio Reguilon in Eric Ten Hag's squad. Rasmus Hodgland is, of course, still just 20 years of age and therefore does not count towards the limit. Regular first-teamer Alejandro Garnacho is also under the age threshold, as are Amat and Kobe Mainu, who will both hope to be involved for the Reds in the league when they recover from the respective injuries they suffered during preseason. Hannibal is another player with first-team experience who is below the age of 21. A maximum of 17 players can be classed as non-homegrown, and clubs are permitted to change their squads during the January transfer window. So this is the list of 25 players submitted. On the position of goalkeepers are Alte Bayendir, Tom Heaton, Andre Onana. On position of defenders are Diogo Dalot, Johnny Evans, Victor Lindelof, Harry Maguire, Tyrell Malazia, Lisandro Martinez, Sergio Reguilon, Luke Shaw, Rafael Varan, Aaron Juan Bisaka. On the position of the midfielders are Sofian Amrabat, Casemiro, Christian Eriksen, Bruno Fernandes, Scott McTominay, Mason Mount Facundo, Pelistri, Donny van de Beek. On the position of forwards are Anthony Anthony Martial, Marcus Rashford, Jaden Sancho. Again and again, even if Jaden Sancho available on the submitted list of 25 players, but he still having issues with boss Eric Ten Hag elsewhere. Gareth Southgate slams ridiculous attacks on Harry Maguire by idiots on our side as James Madison hails Man United man's big balls after Scotland own goal clanger.
Gareth Southgate has launched a robust defense of England's Tower of Strength, Harry Maguire, and blasted the pundit criticism he has suffered as an absolute joke. Maguire's England teammates also rallied round the Manchester United man after his own goal gifted Scotland a route back into Tuesday night's friendly at Hampton Park. Again and again. Man United boss Eric Ten Hag gave Jadon Sancho special start time to fix attitude problems Jadon Sancho's attitude has plagued his Man United career. United manager Eric Ten Hag tried and failed to solve concerns around Jadon Sancho's attitude last season by handing the $73 million flop a special start time for training, according to reports. The pair's relationship may have blown up this week, but issues behind closed doors have reportedly been brewing for the duration of Ten Hag's tenure. Sancho and Ten Hag have held showdown talks this week after the 23-year-old winger publicly challenged his boss's authority earlier in the month. The Dutchman excluded Sancho from his squad to face Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium and later admitted it was due to poor training performances. But shortly after, the player posted an explosive response on social media, effectively calling Ten Hag a liar. He wrote, Please don't believe everything you read. I will not allow people to say things that are completely untrue. I have conducted myself in training very well this week. I believe there are other reasons for this matter that I won't go into. I've been a scapegoat for a long time, which isn't fair. Ten Hag was reportedly left dismayed by Sancho's reaction after taking extreme measures to help launch his stalling United career since arriving in England. According to The Athletic, Ten Hag and his dressing room have grown increasingly frustrated with Sancho. It is alleged that United's No. 25 has continuously shown a lack of punctuality and produced sluggish training performances. Sancho was set a schedule at least one hour earlier than his teammates to promote punctuality, but despite initial success, the England outcast slipped into a familiar routine, contributing to his sensational public spat with Ten Hag after the 3-1 defeat at the Emirates Stadium. Sancho has been accused of attitude problems previously, even while surfacing as one of Europe's most sought-after young talents at Borussia Dortmund. The Athletic claim that the Bundesliga club found Sancho could be quite childish and unprofessional, as he occasionally missed team meetings and overslept. He found some of his best form under the watchful eye of Edin Terzic, who paired him with now Man City striker Haaland, younger than Sancho. So his elite professionalism would rub off. Sancho's disastrous old Trafford career looks to be stumbling to a close, despite deleting his social media statement on Tuesday. So here there are five free agents Man United could sign. Man United's late injury crisis has thrust Ten Hag into an unforeseen problem. With Facundo Palistri the only fit right winger at the club, United could dip their toes into the market for a free agent. There are also issues at left back and in central defense. Here are five options available to United. The first one is Eden Hazard. He is not the player he used to be, but could be an option due to his versatility along the front line. Second one is Santi Mina. The 27-year-old Spaniard scored six goals in the Saudi Pro League last season with Al-Shabaab. Third one is Usama Idrisi. He helped Feyenoord win the Dutch League last season with 10 goal contributions. The fourth one is Andre Ayew. He proven Premier League player and can pose problems for opponents. The last one Man United could sign is Jesse Lingard. While very unlikely, the ex-United star has proven prem quality and handy versatility.